Hey guys, in this video today, I'm going to actually demonstrate for you step-by-step -step how to put together a simple yet very effective process for bringing in new leads to a consulting business. Now, if you don't know who I am, my name is Chris Shoup and my channel is dedicated to helping you find freedom, physically, financially, mentally, and spiritually. So if you want more freedom in your life, then you've come to the right place. And one of the best ways that you can have that physical and that financial freedom is to have a high paying freelance business. And that's what I'm gonna show you a portion of here. This kind of business is wonderful because it gives you almost complete lifestyle freedom because you can travel just about wherever you want, whenever you want, and you have freedom to set your own schedule. But you probably already knew that, so let's go ahead and just jump into it. Now, what you're seeing right here uh, is my pages screen on my Kartra dashboard. Now, if you're not familiar with Kartra, Kartra is the software that I'm gonna be using throughout all of this. And what Kartra is, is it's a software service that allows you to build marketing web pages. That is, web pages that are specifically focused on getting users to take some action. And in this case, that's going to be to give their information and to become your lead. So then you can call them and reach out to them and turn them into a client. And I love this software because it's super simple to use. You don't have to have any tech skills. It has built-in email automation. It has built-in analytics. It's just everything that you need all in one package. So uh, I highly recommend this software. This is what I've been using myself for a while. I used to use one called ClickFunnels, which was pretty good too, but Kartra is, is just better in many different ways. It's better price. Uh, it has more features, has much better analytics. So if you'd like to learn more about Kartra or you would like to get a 14-day trial for just $1, go to chrisshoop.com slash Kartra. Okay, so this, what you're seeing right here is the pages screen in Kartra. So uh, once you already have a Kartra account set up, and you'll see I have a whole bunch of stuff already here. You won't have any of this. Yours will be pretty empty if you're new to this. But what you're going to do is you're going to go to new site, first of all. The way that this is organized is we are organizing, we have a, a series of pages. And so the way, the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna create a landing page that goes to a thank you page. It's really, it's just a two page website. It's very simple. And so we're gonna give it a site name. So uh, I'm just gonna call it example, just because I'm not actually gonna use this. I'm just gonna delete it afterwards. And then pages in the site, nothing select selected because I don't have any yet. I'll hit add and then done. Okay, so if I click on example, there's nothing there, right? Because I haven't created any pages yet. So uh, if you go, it's kind of hidden behind my face over here, but there's a little green button to create a new page. And so that's what we're gonna do first. So I'm gonna start with a blank canvas uh, and launch builder here. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you actually how to build these pages in real time so that they are convincing to people that they want to give you their information, become your lead. So let's say, uh, let's say consulting opt-in, opt-in page, let's call it that. And category, I don't put a category. And site, put our example site here. And then don't worry about this, import elements. Go ahead and create it. Okay, now here we have the blank page and I'm just gonna show you how to put in the various elements and give you an idea of what the layout's gonna be. I'm not gonna write everything out word for word, don't worry, you know, I'm gonna respect your time a little bit here. But uh, first thing we need to do is we need to put a section. So we go over here, click on sections. You'll see how easy this is. You don't really need any tech skills for this. Uh, we're just gonna put an empty section and so we're gonna drag this into that first section. Okay, now we need to put a, co a column. Uh, and we go to components and then columns. Excuse me, I'm going a little fast. You can always just reverse if you need to. Um, th there's, there's different structures of columns. Like the most simple is just to have one single column like this one that's 100%. And so that's what I'm gonna do for the first one. And you could have two columns where it's half on one side and half on the other side, but this one I'm just gonna put 100%. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a headline. So we go into components and put, <clears throat> well, there's two ways to do this. They have these kind of uh, fancy headlines that they put themselves or that they kind of give you a template basically, or you can go back and just put a text. I'm gonna do a second. I'm gonna take complete creative control here, just put a text. So 
For our headline, our headline is very important. That's maybe the most important part of your page here. This is the thing that the person is going to read first. So for your headline, you have to write something that immediately calls out their interest. Okay, so for, for my example, what I'm gonna use is an Excel consulting business. This is a business that I actually have and I actually run successfully where I build spreadsheets for companies. I save them a whole lot of time. I build automation for, stu for them. I uh, help them see analytics, right? There's a lot of kind of va value propositions uh, that, that I could offer. But let's say, um, let's just say want help with Excel. Let's just go really simple here. And then I'm gonna make this a whole lot bigger. I'm gonna center it, because it's supposed to be a headline. You know, this has to actually stand out. Make it even bigger than that. Okay, so we have our headline. I could probably write a better one than that, but you know, just for the sake of demonstration. This is, in the, the simplest terms possible, what is it that you can solve for them? What is it that, that's going to capture their interest? And then after that, I like to put a, a new text, which is kind of a subheadline. And that's gonna be just expounding on that a little bit. And you can, you can go a little bit more into what you do or a little bit more into uh, some benefit for them. So for example, maybe I would say something like, tired of wasting countless hours wrestling with spreadsheets, I, I can help. I can do just about anything you can think of with Excel. If you want dashboards, automation, um, what else could we say? Want to improve your own Excel skills? I can help you with all of that. Fill in your info below and I'll give you a call. There, simple. And then uh, let's make this a little bit more prominent here maybe a uh, 1.0, okay, and we can mess with the colors and we can mess with the formatting. I'm not really gonna get into this. This is kind of the bare bones. And by the way, actually the kind of bare bones look, it, it works. Because if you go too fancy with too many bells and whistles, then it kind of looks scammy, right? It's, this, this bare bones, it looks more authentic. So I've, I actually keep my sites pretty much this way. I make them a little bit nicer than what I'm gonna show you here, but uh, generally pretty, pretty basic. Okay, so now I have my subheadline. Uh, now I'm going to have I'm going to have two elements below, and I'm going to divide this into columns. So let's go ahead and add a new column, and I'm going to choose this 50/50 here. Now they make it very faded, so you can barely see it, but this is the the two column with 50% each here. So what I'm going to what I put is I put on the left I put a video, and uh, so I go down here to videos and put this. Now, an another benefit of Kartra is Kartra has its own video hosting. So you don't have to put it on YouTube because YouTube is distracting. You know, if you put a YouTube video in there, it gives the person suggestions afterwards. Like after they watch your video, then they say you might like these videos. You don't want them to watch somebody else's video after yours, right? Or even another one of your videos. You want them to, to do the one thing that the marketing page is asking them to do. So the, the Kartra video hosting is much better than the, the YouTube video hosting. So I always upload to Kartra. And so what I do for this one actually um, is, is I give a video just kind of demonstrating some of the things that I've done in the past. So what this will depend um, a little bit on your business, but for an Excel business, a lot of people don't really understand what all is possible in Excel. So I try to kind of expand their horizons a little bit with this video. So let's go ahead and put a, put a little uh, text above that as well, just to, descri to describe it. And then I just say uh, a little, demonstration of what's 
possible. We can make that a little bit bigger. That's too big. Okay. And then can make that look a little nicer. Give it a little space there. And then uh, on this side, I'll put an opt-in form. So we can put, where is that? Opt-in fields down here. And we can kind of des decide how we want it to look. I'm going to put the large light fields. I think that'll look the best. Okay, so I have to select an opt-in form. Um, I don't have one yet, so I'm going to create a new one. And then name, we're going to, I'm just going to call this one example as well. Apply. Okay, and then style, I can move it a little bit there. So it's down below. Now it says this asset does not exist or its configuration is incomplete. That means that I have to go back and uh, fill in how the rest of that, which I'm gonna do in a moment. So let's go ahead and hit apply here. And then, uh, so that's just about it. This is where they're gonna fill in their info. And then I'm going to, actually I need to put a single column again down there. So we will put a columns 100% here. And then I'm gonna grab that. I, I don't know if you caught that. I just duplicated this one and I'm gonna copy it down here. If it'll work for me. There we go. And then here's where I'm just gonna, I'm gonna add some extra copy. I'm gonna write basically a sales letter. And uh, I, I don't, I don't want to like spend all your time writing that out because that takes some time, right? You want to. This is something you want to plan out. You don't want to do this off the top of your head. You want to kind of have a plan for what exactly you're going to say on this sheet that is going to be convincing to the person who is your target audience. And so this this part is difficult actually. It's there's kind of an art to it to writing something that's convincing. It's a whole field in and of itself called copywriting, which by the way, if you want help with any of this, including the copywriting, including the design, if if you want me to either walk you through this or do it for you, um, then send me an email at chris at dominatethemarketplace.net. This is a service that I provide to my clients, so we can talk about that. Anyway, so that's it, and then you could put a little footer if you want that says like copyright 2020 or whatever, and you could put a header. Um, actually, I, I actually do put a header up here with my phone number on it. I think, you know, I like it when clients call me because it's, they, they call me when their buying temperature is the highest, right? So it's not like I call them the next day once I've gotten the lead and they've kind of forgotten about me already, etc. but I'm not gonna do all that for you. So let's go ahead and save this one. Uh, we'll go ahead and publish live. And then if you hit get page link, it gives you this automatic Kartra link, but you can use your own do uh, your own custom domain, right? So I've got a few custom domains in here. I'm not going to do that, but you can, whatever your custom domain is, you can, you can use that as well. So uh, that's all finished for now. So I'm going to exit to dashboard. And then I need to make a form or I need to fill it, finish the form. So this is my example form. See how it says configuration incomplete. So I have to edit it. And then uh, I have to put the fields that I want. Now I always have to have the name and the email address field or I have to have the email address field. I don't necessarily need the name, but they, Kartra requires you to get the email address. And then I'm gonna add a phone number field as well, which is around here somewhere. Where'd it go? Oh, there you go, phone without country code. I'm gonna assume everybody's in the US that's, that's signing up here. And make it mandatory. Select default, I'm gonna select the US. Canada is the same, which is convenient, and hit save. Okay, and then I'm also gonna add one more new field, which is, um, 
I'm going to create a custom field. I'm going to call it about project. I actually already did this, but I'm going to say about project too. And this is going to be a text area. This is just where I want the um, want the person to tell me a little bit about what they want me to do for them. So I say, tell me a little bit about your project. Make it mandatory, save. And there we go. That's that's basically, it's kind of faded. I don't know if you can see it, but that's what the what the field, what the form is going to look like. So let's go ahead and hit save. The form itself is, is done. Um, you can do a single opt-in or a double opt-in. Double opt-in means that they have to confirm before they're added to your email list. I wouldn't bother with that. I always keep it single opt-in. Hit save. Uh, success page. This is important. I have to have a thank you page. I don't have that yet. I have not built a thank you page. You do need to do that. It's just a simple page that confirms. It says um, you, you've been opted in or you've, uh, I've got your information. I'll, I'll be in touch with you soon. So I'm going to hit configure later on that one. And then I will do that uh, later. And then sending a welcome message. I definitely recommend that you do this. I say send a welcome email. And then you can put whatever email address. So put Chris at dominate the marketplace.net and reply to email. That's if somebody replies to an automatic email, it will go to that email address. Save that. And then this is going to be the welcome message. Um, and let's say we've received your inquiry. And then say hi. And you can put the you can put the first name, right? So it'll automatically fill in their first name. And just copy it from here. And we can say, we received your inquiry about our Excel service. We will reach out to you soon and discuss how we can help. Cheers, Chris Chu. Okay, or whatever you want to say. You know, I didn't put much thought into that, but you want to just kind of give them give them a heads up that you've got their inquiry, you you received their information, and you're going to reach out soon. You set expectations a little bit. So, go ahead and save that. Save next, and then assign tags. Um, no need to do that. This is kind of kind of uh, advanced. We do want to su subscribe to lists. I would recommend that. A list is just a list of people uh, that are that have done the same thing. So in this case, it'll be a list of people who are leads, right? And it's nice to have the list because that means that any time in the future, you can send an email just saying, hey, how are you doing with your Excel? Is there something I could do to help? You know, just whenever you want, you can send that to your list. So I highly recommend you set up a list. Now, if you don't have a list, you'll go to create new list down here. Let's call it, uh, I'll just call it example again. In public description, people will actually see this. So you want to put something meaningful in there. Let's say uh, Excel help or something like that. Okay, now we got a list. I'll hit add, save. Okay, that's done. Subscribe to sequences. If we want to send out more automatic emails after the first one, we could subscribe them to a sequence. I'm not going to do that. Advanced automations, I'm not going to get into that. Save and next. I will use the form in another Kartra asset. That just means we're going to use it on a uh, Kartra opt-in page, which we already have. So we're going to save that. That's fine. And then save and next, finish. Okay, congratulations, this form is now available for you in Kartra pages and Kartra videos. Wonderful. Now, we go, there's one more thing that we have to do and that is to set up the thank you page. So let's go ahead and clone this um, just so we get the same kind of, uh, the, the same kind of formatting so that it looks similar. So we'll call this consulting thank you page. Okay, go ahead and clone that. Okay, now it's it's exactly the same as the, the opt-in page, but we're gonna delete some stuff here. So get rid of this junk. And then I'm, I'm just gonna leave this basically. So let's uh, 
let's say, um, we'll be in touch soon. Well, let's say thanks, we'll be in touch soon. Okay, and then say, uh, we got your information and we'll be reaching out to you within the next 48 hours to discuss how we can help you with your Excel project. Talk soon. Okay. Again, very basic here. And then if you want, uh, it's actually something I recommend is you put your phone number. So I say, uh, just in case, in case you get impatient, feel free to give us a call and give my number. And there we go, we're done. Maybe I should delete these columns here. Which I have to go. Okay, and so that's good. And let's go ahead to publish live. That basically means that it's saved. Um, the page link again. I can I can edit this and I can choose a custom domain instead of this .carcher.com here. It looks more professional. And then then we'll go ahead and return to dashboard. And now under my opt-in forms here, I want to edit this. This is the example one. Again, this is the one we already worked on. And see how that confirmation is read? That means it's not done yet because I haven't put in that thank you page yet. But now we have the thank you page or the success page as they call it. So we're gonna change that. This is gonna be a Kartra page. So we, we check Kartra page. The site is the example site. The page is the thank you page. Save that. And then can save all the way through this. And now we are all finished. So let's take a look. Let's see if this worked. Let's give it a test run here. So we're gonna go over to our example site here. Uh, the opt-in page is where we start. So let's get our code or link, get page link copy and paste this. I'm gonna put it in my browser here. And here we go, this is what the page looks like. So um, the, the video doesn't work because it's just a placeholder, like I didn't actually put a real video and obviously I didn't build out this page all the way. But we have the basic elements are all here and we have the, um, the, the, the opt-in form here. So I can put my name, I can put my email address, uh, I put my phone number, and uh, I'll put some, some information about my project, hit submit. And then we go to this, thanks, we'll be in touch soon. And that's it. That's, that's the whole thing. So we set that up in, in what, like 15 minutes and it's already working. And so if we go over to Kartra and I go to my communications, I can take a look at my leads, go to lists, and then my example list, let's take a look at this one. I can click on active leads. There's one, there's just me that, uh, I don't know why they put my last name wrong. <laughs> but anyway, they're, they're a little confused. Actually, because I, I gave this uh, email address is a, for a membership for a, another lady and something completely unrelated and her last name was Sitz's, but uh, don't worry about that. Uh, and then, this is really cool. We can see exactly what happened and, and at what time, like where they came from. So, um, for, I mean, I've done a lot with this before, so ignore all that. But right here, I, I visited the consulting opt-in page. I visited the form. I completed the form. I subscribed to the list. And then I visited the thank you page. And then it sent an email with the, the welcome. So the, one of the wonderful things about Kartra is that you get this really, really granular detail about what everybody did. And so all I have to do to get consulting clients is to just put this page in front of people who are likely to be interested. 
I find people who are likely to want help with Excel and I give them this page. And how to find people is, is a whole uh, lesson on its own and, and I can go into that in a separate video if you would be interested. Let me know in the comments, by the way, if that'd be something that, that would interest you in the future. Uh, but all I have to do is, is find people that are interested, send them to this page, whether that's through ads, whether that's through YouTube, whether that's through a blog, whether that's through a business card, meeting people in person, there's a million ways to do it. And then uh, they give me their information here, I give them a call, talk about their project a little bit, close them over the phone. So. That's it. I hope you found this helpful. If you enjoyed this, please hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up icon, hit the little bell icon beside the subscribe button so you get all my future videos. And again, if you want to sign up for the Kartra software, if you want that $1 trial, go to chrisshoop.com slash Kartra. I appreciate you using my link because I get paid a little bit of commission when you go through my link. If you found this video helpful, then I certainly appreciate that. And if you'd like help actually creating this, if you'd like me to actually do this for you, if you'd like me to write the copy for you, because that's really important, right? You can't just write in anything and, and have people be persuaded to give over their information, especially their phone number, especially if you're just a stranger on the internet. You have to be really good at writing the right things that convinces people that you're the person they wanna trust uh, to help them. So if you want help with that, with writing exactly those right words, then feel free to sit, send me an email at chris at dominatethemarketplace.net. And if by any chance you're an Excel consultant yourself and you would like to get paid up to $100 an hour by helping people with spreadsheets, then also send me an email because I have a program that's specifically designed to get you from, from having nothing to having a fully functioning Excel business that's getting clients on autopilot. So I hope that was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, you might also enjoy this earlier video I did. And uh, again, please hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, the bell icon beside the subscribe button. Thank you guys, talk to you soon.